New voter registration data in Nebraska's 2nd District paints a slightly better picture for Republicans. But is it enough to give us any insight into Election Day? Bill Shammert's on the live desk with that, Bill. Rob, Julie, across the country we hear the term swing state. Nebraska isn't a swing state, but we certainly do live in a swing district. I wanted to compare voter registration data with two years ago to see what's changed. There's a lot of numbers on your screen, but focus on the change column on the right side. You can see Republicans picked up nearly 6,000 voters compared to Democrats under 300. Nonpartisans added about 4,500 and the other parties added about 3,000. There are more than, there are about 13,000 more registered voters than in the midterms. Still, political analysts say this shift isn't big enough to make any bold predictions. Tomorrow's race between Democrat Tony Vargas and Republican Don Bacon will come down to one main thing. Do you think people should read too much into that data? No, I, I, I don't. I mean, I, I don't think there's, or at least my reading of it is, there's no fundamental shift in the partisan makeup of the second district. It's always going to come down to those independents. And I mean, the independents constitute well north of 100,000 potential votes in the second district. We also compared numbers to four years ago. Remember, Bacon won District 2, but Biden took the Electoral College vote, beating Trump by 22,000 votes. We use percentages because the district is down about 30,000 voters since redistricting. Again, Republicans widened the gap between Democrats, but Smith says it's not a major change and that most polling shows this race within the margin of error. I asked him for any predictions. He says it is all too close to call. The one thing he said, Buckle up for a long day and potentially a long few days. Back to you.